What's up everybody, TCM here back with another video and today we're going to be talking about imposter syndrome. So I get a lot of questions about imposter syndrome, especially on Twitch and on Twitter. And you may have seen me post about it recently on LinkedIn and on Twitter. And I thought it was good to put it into a video format as well, because I know I have a lot more of you here on YouTube than I do on either of those platforms combined. So let's just go ahead and take a little bit of time to talk about imposter syndrome and what it is and how we can combat it. So when we think about imposter syndrome, what it really is, is us thinking that we don't belong in layman's terms. We don't belong in a certain situation. So maybe you're at a new job and you feel like you just don't, uh, you don't have the chops to keep up. Or you don't feel like you really belong there or everybody's so much smarter than you. Or you're at an interview and you're feeling the same way. Why did they even bring me in? Or you're studying for, say, becoming a hacker and you're just like, man, all these people are so great that I follow on social media and I'm never going to be that great. I'm, I just suck. It's not going to happen. That's imposter syndrome. That's letting your mind get to you. And I'm here to tell you that that's a perfectly normal feeling. It, everybody experiences it. I still experience it. It doesn't really ever particularly go away. I think it gets better over time. So the more experience you become, the less it shows itself. But when you're in a field like cybersecurity, and this can relate to any field, I'm just using this as an example, but when you're in a field that has so much vast knowledge or learning platforms, right? So many learning platforms and so many opportunities for depth, say penetration testing, just as an example, I don't know half the stuff out there about penetration testing and I do it for a profession. There are people that are always going to be smarter at it, better at it, and be way more capable than I am. It doesn't mean that I can't be successful. It doesn't mean that those people are more successful than me. Even somebody more knowledgeable doesn't mean that they're going to be more successful than you. That's a bad baseline to have. Now, you may have seen me post about it before. When I talk about running a mile, you can run a mile in five minutes, or 15 minutes. And somebody who posts about running a mile in five minutes, you might see that get upvoted to the top on social media, right? You might see people say, oh, wow, you ran a mile in five minutes. That's amazing. Hardly anybody ever does that. And then there you are running a mile in 15 minutes. And you probably don't want to share it because you're not running it in five minutes like the other person. And everybody's so excited for that. But you still ran the same mile. You crossed your finish line when you crossed your finish line. Now, imposter syndrome is something that you kind of have to let empower you. You can't let it be the bird that's in the back of your mind chirping away and saying, you can't do this, you can't do this. You need it to be saying, hey, I know I'm deficient, but I've got a lot more left to learn. And when you start thinking about it that way, things start getting better. When you embrace being the dumbest person in the room, say you just got hired for a new job and you are the dumbest person in the room, you're the junior level, you're the rookie, you aren't expected to know everything. Tell yourself that you got hired in that job for a reason. Heck, you got to the interview for a reason. If you think about all the people that apply to jobs, there are usually hundreds, if not thousands of applicants and they only bring in a handful of people to actually interview. If you get to the stage of interviewing, you should be incredibly grateful and proud of yourself because you got it that far. You made it past every other candidate that applied for that job, and or at least most candidates that applied for that job and got to the interview. If you get the job, you made it past every candidate that applied for that job. You should feel really proud of yourself. Don't be hard on yourself if you don't get the job or if you don't get the interview. There's just room for improvement. But if you do land these things or even if you learn a new topic or you're studying something new, embrace it. OK, so you're the new person on the job. Start taking notes. Start learning from other people. And someday you're going to have somebody come to you and ask you about imposter syndrome. And you're going to say, hey, you can use this to empower yourself instead of being afraid of it. And that's really what we're here to talk about. Just don't be afraid of the bird inside your head, the words, the voices, anything you want to call it. Embrace them. All right. And I know we touched on social media, but I want to hit it hard again. When we're in this field of hacking, and I've talked about it with bug bounties and other things, but when we post about our successes, our successes get upvoted. 
That's just the world we live in. People are always, yay, success, right? But there are so many failures behind every single success that we just don't get to see them. Most people don't post about their failures, and if they do, often they're hidden in the weeds and we're seeing the people that post about their success and everybody gets upvoted and everybody has a happy party. That's not real life. So don't get lost in seeing everybody's success without understanding how many failures it likely took to get there. Okay, for every $10,000 bug bounty or $20,000 or whatever you see, you don't see the amount of times that person failed to get to where they were at. Same thing with landing a job. Same thing with getting an interview. You don't know their history. You don't know anything. All you need to do is run your own race. This comes back to the 15 mile or 15 minute, five minute mile. It doesn't matter. You're going to cross the same finish line. Who cares if somebody does it faster than you or who cares if they're better at it than you? It doesn't mean you can't get there. It doesn't mean you can't cross the same finish line. It doesn't mean you can't be as successful. You do it at your pace. Don't worry about anybody else. And that's really it. I, I don't have much else to say on the topic, but you don't need to stress about imposter syndrome. It's just all in your head. It really is. You just need to embrace it, use it to motivate yourself and keep pushing harder. Keep studying, keep motivating yourself, keep the motivation up and you're going to do great things. All right. So that's it for this video. Until next time, my name is TCM and I do thank you for joining me.